Today I'm going to give you seven ways that you can create more time to shoot. Now I'm definitely not here to tell you what to do with your time. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. But I am here to help you with effective time management strategies. Time management, that's the key. By setting clear priorities and maximizing your limited free time, you can successfully nurture your growing photography business while maintaining your other life responsibilities. First up, you have to set clear goals and priorities. Start by defining your short and your long-term goals for your photography business, identify what you want to achieve, and outline the steps that'll help you get there. By setting clear priorities, you'll be able to focus your time and your energy on the most important tasks, and those important tasks lead to your progress and your growth as a photographer. How about in three months, I want to have 20 photo shoots done? Or this summer, I'm going to go to three new places and create amazing portfolio level images. What's your schedule like? I need your help. Create a schedule. Establishing a structured schedule is crucial for time management. Evaluate your daily routine and identify free time that could be dedicated to your photography. Consider waking up early. I used to wake up early when I was a child, work on some project. Or dedicating a certain evening or weekends to your craft. Creating a schedule helps you allocate time for photography and ensures that you have a balance between work, your personal life, and time to shoot. I use iCal on my Mac to manage five calendars. My photography work, my podcast schedule, my outward reach, my cycling and fitness, my family life, everything is scheduled. Everything goes into my calendar or it doesn't happen. We need a plan. Plan and prepare. Let's play dead. To optimize your photography time, plan and prepare in advance. From scouting locations to researching potential clients, even organizing your photography equipment. By having a plan in place, you can make the most out of your shooting sessions and reduce time wasted on unnecessary tasks like finding that cord, that cable, that adapter. Come on, stop it. This, James, this is unnecessary. I'm pretty intense when it comes to writing down my photo ideas and going out to see new locations. I use my phone to photograph the cool spots that I see and they get geotagged and they're visible in the places section of my photos app. Then I put them into a potential locations folder so I can go back to that folder anytime that I'm stuck for a cool place to shoot. Make use of technology. In today's digital age, tech can be our greatest ally when it comes to managing our photography businesses efficiently. Utilize apps and desktop tools to streamline your workflow. Schedule your social media posts in advance and automate everything that you can. By leveraging technology, you can save time so you can focus on the creative aspects of your photography. One program that I can't live without is Notion. This program organizes my personal life and my business life, and I'm just skimming the surface of what it can do. I've created YouTube templates, podcast templates. I use Notion for ideas for habit tracking, I've made call sheet templates, and so much more. Delegate and outsource. Recognize that you can't do it all yourself. Delegate non-essential tasks or outsource them to other people. You can hire a virtual assistant to handle your administrative work, a retoucher to do your post-processing or a social media manager to handle helping you blow up on Instagram. Delegating responsibilities will free up valuable time so you can concentrate on your core photography work. Of course, yes, these things cost money. Unless you teach your friend or your partner or the love of your life how to help you and how to help you blow up your photography business. If you do this, they don't need to know a single thing about making photographs. Know someone that's amazing at social? Get them on your team. Offer exchanges. Do photography for them in exchange for social media management. Leverage your network. Find the talent that you need and offer to exchange services. Yes, sir. And it was a regular cottage industry. Embrace the power of saying no. Learning how to say no to non-essential commitments is crucial for managing your time effectively. Of course, it's important to socialize and engage in activities that go beyond work and photography. Be mindful of the impact that it'll have on your schedule. Prioritize tasks and commitments that align with your goals and politely decline those that don't contribute to your growth as a photographer. No is a powerful word. You should have no issues saying no to a project that's not fair to you or one that doesn't 
doesn't fit with your goals that you're trying to do with your camera. Saying yes to shooting products when you're a portrait shooter with no experience shooting products is doing a disservice to the client that's asking. Say no, explain your specialty, and recommend someone that you respect to take care of their product photography needs. Saying yes in this scenario is gonna make you the fool. Yes, 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 yes. You're taking work from someone that could do it better, and you're not adding anything that you can actually use in your portfolio. Someone wanting you to shoot a lot for a little? That's not gonna work for me, okay? Offer to shoot less for their low rate, or just say no. I implored every single one of you to just say no. Continuously learning and improving. Self-improvement and skill development is crucial for any photographer. For men, self-improvement ends at toilet training. But it's essential to manage your learning time effectively. Dedicate time slots for leveling up on educational resources like courses or photo books, or even photography workshops. Be selective and focus on areas that'll directly benefit you and your photography business. Even you couldn't say no to that. You, by the way, are all over this already by getting this far in the video, by reading my blog posts. You read my blog posts, right? Everything that I create on YouTube and on my blog is to enable emerging photographers like you. Oh. <laughs> Self-improvement month. Finding time for photography while juggling a full-time job requires determination, dedication, and discipline. The American people in the throes of the Depression, as they were, uh, found in him a symbol of possibility of, of self-improvement and self-fulfillment. And effective time management. By clearly making your photography a priority, by scheduling everything, by using available technology, and delegating out when necessary, you can strike a balance in your life and you can nurture your growing photography business. Success in managing your time ultimately boils down to your commitment, your focus, and your dedication to this craft. But first, you must demonstrate your commitment to justice. Do you want to stay in your 9 to 5 non-photography related grind or do you want to make the steps to transition to being a pro? I can help a lot, but I can't make you go out and take photos. I can't do the immense amount of work for you that it takes to be a successful pro. Now I can't do it for you. I take on 10 shooters for my mentorship program. Right now I have 8, which means I got 2 spots left. Embrace these time management tips and leave me a comment letting me know which ones that you found the most helpful. This stuff isn't easy. By the way, if it was, everybody would be a working pro photographer. For those that are committed to changing the reality, the rewards are amazing. You absolutely can do this if you got the talent. Before I shifted, I had the mindset of the broke photographer. Which reminds me, your account needs more money. If you're stuck with not enough money in your account or you're struggling to break through, maybe you have this mindset as well. Watch this one next. I'm gonna tell you how I snapped out of the mindset of the broke photographer and I'm gonna help you do it as well. Watch this video and I'll see you on that one. Thanks so much for watching.